Senior Management of the Inland Revenue Department, IRD, participated in a week-long strategic planning workshop facilitated by the IMF Kartak short-term expert, Princess Scott. The workshop emanated from a Tax Administration Diagnostic Assessment Tool, TADAT, which looked at the health of the department and the necessary measures required to align the department with its strategic objectives. Marcia Vite is a controller at the Inland Revenue Department. You know, it's almost like saying that a business with no sign is a sign of no business. It is the same with a, a business plan. Knowing the direction that you want to go is always very, very helpful. And once we can align that to the Ministry of Finances plan, it's, it is always a, a step down. So now with our plan, we can chart the way forward for the next three years and we would know where exactly we can go. And we can, we can go against that plan to say, okay, this is what you've planned for year one. Have you met your expectations? And, and we, can, we can ensure that we can have corrective action. The Caribbean Research Technical Assistance Center, CATAC, provides technical assistance to its 20-plus member countries across the Caribbean in areas such as tax mobilization, financial management of the economy, among other cross-cutting areas with the aim of stabilizing economies and enabling global growth. Regional growth is very important certainly just to stabilize how economies run. And so industries and sectors that form a part of those economies and also more important, the people that are part of those economies need to ensure that they're having, whether it be their value being seen by what the government produces, but also as well their ability to also support government in mobilizing those revenues by way of them paying their share of taxes. So in that exchange of what it is that a citizen contributes, a business contributes, etc., to the economy, likewise the government needs to ensure it's hard in the right climate, the right investments, uh, and looking at areas for strengthening capacity to move the key pillars of the economy forward. One of those key pillars, of course, is the Inland Revenue Department of St. Lucia in terms of the vital role that they play in mobilizing revenue for the government of St. Lucia to enable the national agenda to be funded. Scott added, that the objective of the workshop was to strengthen the IRD's reform management capacity and identify key knowledge gaps in the development of the IRD's three-year strategic plan. So we looked at the what we call that broad strategic framework and what are those pillars that will enable the IRD to move forward, not just the vision, not just the mission, but those softer core values that they will actually ensure is felt at every point of contact as well. The Comptroller indicated that among the strategic objectives of the Inland Revenue Department is the constant improvement to the tax filing system, making the process easier and more accessible to taxpayers. And we want to, to just encourage persons at this time, if you're close to the filing period, to, to file online. It's, it's, it is one of the better ways to file. And come into our department, go onto our website, and see how, how well our online filing system can work for you. The Strategic Reform Planning Workshop ran from February 20th to 24th, 2023 at the Finance Administrative Center. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.